Pouring numbers like equations Trench talk When you jump up off the porch as a young And start posting on the block with the junkies And get it bounced Reality that needs to be said out loud Is that as black men age Their desirability increases Thus their optionality of women is always expanding And the exact opposite is true for black women mm -hmm. As we age doesn't matter how much money we accumulate, our degrees or professional accolades. The reality is, is that our marriage and partnership market value is depreciating with every passing year. No matter how good we look, no matter how fit we are, men are still seeing primarily our presumed dwindling fertility as a knock against us. And speaking of fertility, that is another reason that I want younger black women to seek marriage and partnership in college or right after, if that's what they choose. Because the number of college-educated black men is so low when compared to black college-educated women that we're all going to be targeting the same small pool of men. And as we heard today, on most campuses, there's like seven black women students for every one black man student. Y'all do the math. So here's my advice. If you are a young black woman in college and you know in your heart and in your head that you want to prioritize family, I suggest that you simultaneously pursue that MRS degree right along with that BA or JD. Because the handful of black college age men that actually do desire to get married soon and they do share that value system and family is a priority for them too. Y'all, that is an incredibly small pool and it's shrinking as you get older. And by the time you reach my age, 40, you will be faced with different choices relating to life partnership and motherhood. Now, I'm not saying that delaying marriage or motherhood is a bad option, but it's one that comes with its own consequences. And our women deserve to know on the front end of their decision making instead of on the back half. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? You back, Tony, your boy, being there, Charles, Charles Visions YouTube channel, man. We're going to talk about it, man. Emily K. Williams, man. She had a message for the ladies, man. I know y'all seen this clip. You did. But listen, man, my thoughts on what she was saying and all of that, right? The message coming from her ain't nothing but bullshit, man. Straight up cap. She don't believe none of the shit she's saying. When I seen her on the Breakfast Club, and when the guy called up and how she was acting, I knew right there. It was all bullshit. I knew it when it came out of her, her, her lips, man. It was all bullshit, man. Trying to win back over the black man that she uh, was uh, disgusted with, right? The bus driver. You know what I mean? The, the guy to go out there to do the construction, the landscaper. You know what I mean? She don't give a damn about none of them guys, man. She don't give a damn. Her message is full bullshit, man. Straight up. And that's how I feel, man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, ain't going to let Envy talk. You know what I'm saying? Because Envy going to say some shit. She, she full of bullshit, man. She trying to get clicks and likes. They talking about Deion Sanders trying to get clicks and likes. But this lady trying to get clicks and likes, G. You know what I'm saying? That's all that word. Clicks and motherfucking likes, man. You know what I'm saying? Who she trying to uh, persuade with this bullshit she talking about, man? Now, the message that she said was correct. But it's bullshit coming from her. Straight up. And all that bullshit she said about the bus. I got her on the bus and all this type of shit. She don't know what real love is, man. And that's just real. She don't know what the fuck real love is. She don't even know. First of all, any two times somebody talking about freezing eggs and shit. Come on, man. My earpiece fall out. I'm, I'm going to talk my shit today, man. Somebody talking about freezing eggs and all this bullshit. It, it's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of craziness, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you having a whole conversation about freezing eggs. Are you fucking serious, man? I don't take nothing that lady's saying seriously, man. It's a bunch of bullshit. Now I got a house worth one point something million dollars. This and that, all this braggadocious bullshit she doing. It's a bunch of fucking cap, man. So the black woman that's mad at Ebony K. Williams, I don't, I, I agree with you. You should be fucking furious that she said that shit. It should have never came out of her motherfucking mouth because she don't believe the words she's saying. It's like a pastor that's sleeping with everybody in the damn church. And he trying to preach the good word. We don't believe the words that's coming out your, man, your mouth, pastor. Because you sleeping with all the little young girls in the damn church. You ain't sanctified. You ain't saved. You don't believe in God. You was a motherfucking hypocrite taking these people money. And you gonna, you gonna ride around in Gucci. You know what I'm saying? You had a little Bentley and all that shit.
You who you at you. That's exactly what Ebony K. Williams is. That pastor that's sleeping with every motherfucking young girl that's in the church, but preaching the word of God. And he's the this biggest sinner in that motherfucker. He worshiped the goddamn devil, but out there trying to preach the word. That's what she doing, man. She don't believe that shit she said out her fucking mouth, man. And it's blasphemy that it came from her ass. I get it. It came on a black big ass platform. It went a viral clip. Uh okay. Uh black women should be mad as hell that it came from her ass. Straight up. An unmarried black woman talking about freezing eggs and shit. They should be ashamed to even listen to some bullshit that come from her. Straight up. That's just how I feel. It was bullshit. She, the message was right. But from her, that shit is bullshit, man. And the girl that was on the breakfast club, should have she should have snapped her neck and grabbed the words out the sky. All that shit don't, uh, a woman be doing and shit. She should have did all that shit. Why? Because it's coming from you. It's coming from you. The same motherfucker that shit on black hard working man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't rich. Everybody ain't Pete Diddy. Everybody ain't, you know what I mean? Jay-Z, big uh, glo uh, global guys, is billionaires and shit. Some niggas just really work in the trenches. And they work a hard working job. But why should you down them because they ain't go to college and they took up a trade instead of that? You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't respect none of that shit she talking about, cuz. That's for real. I don't respect none of that shit, dog. She a bunch of, she a bunch of fucking cap. Just trying to get on a platform to try to switch the narrative. Because everybody looking at you in a hateful way. And like the lady, I heard one of the videos, they say, the, the man that listened to your shit, they still hate you the same way they been hate you. Because they know you fake. They don't forgive you for that bullshit because they know that's the real you. You ain't motherfucking change. You still that same lady that feel that way. That's why you were saying that shit about the man calling in. See, I would have looked at her differently if she would have let the man call in and let him pop his shit. But she ain't do that. So that tell me you the same motherfucker that feel that same way. So stop that bullshit you telling the women out there because at the end of the day, you don't believe that bullshit you telling them, motherfucker. Just like I said, you like that pastor that sleep with L. He sleep with all the young girls, got the young girls in the, in, in, or, or, in, in the, in the crowd all on pregnant by the pastor. You that you that type of fucking female, dog. They're going to tell these women this shit and you ain't, you ain't doing the shit. You ain't even doing the shit you telling these motherfuckers. Right? But you trying to tell them some shit you ain't even doing. And you ain't even trying to do. You ain't trying to find no black man, no goddamn will, man. Find, find a black man well, man. A heart well. You ain't trying to look for no goddamn black man. Stop that bullshit. You trying to nah, I can't I ain't gonna go that far. I ain't gonna go to Charlie. Don't go that far. Don't go that far. I'll go to say some shit. Like, <laughs> you about to have me on some Dr. Umar shit in this motherfucker, man. I ain't uh, <laughs> I'm saying that nigga name anyway, but I let, let let me not do that. Let me not do that. Let me not let me, let me pull back a little bit. That lady went and fuck with a black man to save her goddamn life, man. Shit is all cap, man. She don't even like black men. And she telling other black women to do this and do that. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. I, I agree with the, with the young lady in the breakfast club. Freezing eggs and all this goofy ass shit she talking about. It's straight up goofy. Straight up clown shit. We got dicks and we can put it in your pussy and get you the motherfucking pregnant. We got dicks out this bitch and we can get you pregnant, man. Come on, now. What the fuck you freezing eggs for and all this weirdo shit, man? I said what the fuck I said. That shit coming from her. Cool, let me take this shit out, man. That shit coming from her bullshit, man. Nigga just got out of work, man. I'm going to talk, man. I'm going to pop my shit, nigga. That's some bullshit coming from her. And there are black women that hear that shit to say some fucking bullshit coming from her motherfucking lips. That's some bullshit. You know you don't believe that shit you out here telling them young ladies. You just like that motherfucking pastor that be in that church preaching his ass off, fucking all them little young girls and getting them pregnant. And talking about he the man of God and shit. You just like that. He ride around with, with motherfucking Benzes and all types of shit. Taking, the, fuck, taking the, the church's money for his own sinful ways. Fucking with these, all these little young girls out here, man. Get the fuck out of here, man, with that Ebony K. Williams bullshit, man. She don't give a fuck about no hardworking black man. She don't give a fuck about black man, period, nigga. I don't give a fuck if you college educated, lawyer, nigga, doctor. I don't give a fuck what he is. She don't give a fuck about no black man. She don't care about that shit. That's why she was about to marry a white guy. So stop the bullshit, man. You don't, you don't look for black men to marry? Why are you telling these women to do that shit when you won't even do it? You're fake.
You're fake. You're fucking fake, man. You're fake as shit. I'm saying it. You're fake. And them women, see, what? one thing about black women, they can spot a fake motherfucker from a far away. They got them senses to see some fake ass shit. And they see the fake in you. And that's why the fuck they mad. Because you don't believe the shit you preaching. Just like I said, I'm going to say it again. You're like the pastor. That's fucking all the little young girls in church and got all them bitches pregnant. And talking about he believed in God and all this preaching and shit. But he's stealing the church's money. You need to stop that blasphemy bullshit. Fucking blasphemy, man. But anyway, man, I, I just don't like her personality. I don't like what she stands for. She don't represent a strong black woman in my eyes. The thing that kill me about black women, I want to see married black women have these conversations. That's what I want to see. Married black women have these conversations. Not no motherfucking woman talking about she freezing fucking eggs, man. And dating white guys. Trying to have this conversation to sisters about what, what the fuck is she... What's she trying to tell niggas, man? Who gonna listen to that shit? I done got in my feelings, G. I done got in my motherfucking feelings. It's bullshit. And one thing about a black woman, she can read your motherfucking fakeness from a mile away. She'll read that shit. And all them black women that's mad should be fucking mad. Because you're talking a bunch of shit you wouldn't even do your damn self. So. I agree with the message. But that ain't you. That's not you. That's fake. That's fake as shit. It's faker than a motherfucker. As if I would say, it's some fake ass shit. I'm probably getting. I'll probably be talking about some other shit, man. But that Ebony K motherfucking will be getting on. She hurt my motherfucking nerves, dog. She hurt my fucking nerves, dog. You fake as shit. Your message fake as shit. You don't give a fuck about none of them black women, and you damn sure don't give a fuck about none of them black men. So stop preaching some shit you don't even fucking believe, dog. You don't believe that shit you saying. You don't believe that shit. That's the problem. I hate the fact that married black women that's married to married black guys are not speaking and telling the real story from their experience. They the women I want to fucking hear from. Married black women to married black guys. I want to hear from them. I want to hear from them women, not women that's freezing eggs. I want to hear from a woman that had sex with her fucking husband and had a baby, multiple kids. They went through a struggle and then they got out of the struggle and they made the millions. They worked together. I want to hear from them type of black women, not no dumb. Let me not go there. Not no motherfucking woman talking about freezing eggs and bullshit. And then going, oh, the black woman, when she get older and this and that and. I don't want to hear that bullshit. I don't want to hear that bullshit. I don't want to hear it. And black women don't want to listen to that bullshit you talk about. You know? It ain't a gender war. It ain't no gender war out this bitch. It's just a bunch of black women that's freezing fucking eggs. You can stop fucking talking. And no married black women that's married to a black man that she fucked and had kids with. They the women that I want to hear from. Not these motherfucking women talking about they freezing fucking eggs and fucking with white guys and telling you to fuck with a black guy. And this motherfucker don't even fuck with black guys. I don't want to hear from her, man. I want to hear that bullshit she talking about. It's bullshit. She don't believe the shit she telling you. Hold up, hold up, though. I done, I done, I done got... Let me calm down, G. Let me calm down. Let me calm down. I done lost my earpiece and everything, man. Ebony K. Williams is a fucking disgrace, man. She a fucking disgrace because you out here. You like I said, I'm gonna say this shit again. You like that pastor that sleep with all the little young girls in the church and get them pregnant and talk about I'm a man of God. He's a sinner, motherfucker. And you foolish for to even say that shit and don't believe it. Where we come from, from the trenches, we stand on what the fuck we say. So when I say some shit, it come from the heart. This ain't no fake shit. This ain't for no clicks and fucking likes. This is real. I want to hear from black women that fucked a black husband and had kids 
and went through the struggle and made it on top and they ain't divorced. And they together 15 years. They together 20 years. They together 30 some years. I want to hear from them women. Not no woman that's freezing fucking eggs and fucking with white guys and telling a bunch of black women some bullshit that you don't believe. You don't believe that shit you selling. You don't believe that shit you talking. You don't believe that shit. Do he own the bus? Motherfucker, we ain't forget. <laughs> we ain't forget shit. We ain't forget that shit. We ain't forget that shit. Hell no, nah, we ain't forget it. Ebony K. Williams, she get the motherfucking clown of the day for that bullshit she was saying that she don't believe. Straight up. I had to calm down, guys. I calm down. I'm back to normal. Let's talk about this. Dive a little deeper into this Terrell Owens situation, bro. Talked about it in my last video. Diving a little bit deeper. I said everybody got their jokes and shit like that. Call him a man. Call him my man T.O. Dusty and all type of crazy shit. I said, y'all black women is exactly what the fuck he talking about. All you women that call him Dusty and all these name calling y'all called that man for speaking his truth and his pain. I've been through the same shit he been through. You know what I mean? And it did have trauma effect on the mind of not believing you a great and amazing, beautiful person. With all the harsh treatment that the black women did to me in my younger days and me growing and becoming the man that I am today. It had side effects to all the harsh treatment. Yes, I did meet a black woman, right? That gave me the best experience of my life. And one of, one of the things I'm going to tell you about her, right? She was, a and, and like I said, my whole life, I never met a, a, a black woman that was completely all feminine energy. This young lady was all feminine energy. I call her my chocolate bunny. She was all feminine energy. Type of woman that if you come to her house, she pick your feet up. You know what I'm saying? She'll cook for you. She did everything for me. She was the, one of the best things that ever happened in my life. Because you know why? She taught me that all black women are not the same. And you can find a woman that will love the fuck out you. And this young lady, she wasn't like the other exes that I was with. That downed me. That made me feel bad. That, that said negative things about me. They didn't know how to be give you compliments. This young lady knew how to give me compliments. She, when I came to her, I came to her broken. We're going to get there. We're going to get deep today. When I came to this young lady, I came to her broken. And I'll tell you right now, that black woman healed my mind, body, and soul. Period. Some of the best sex I ever had in my motherfucking life. Beyond the sex. She was like the best thing that ever happened to me. If that, I'm telling you right now, if that girl, if I needed a couple of dollars and she had to wear, walk barefoot to my location, she would have done that shit. She loved me that fucking deep. She taught me the true meaning of fucking love, G. I had never experienced love like that in my fucking whole life. I was always taught bad about, always called ugly, always done bad. But this young lady loved the fuck out of me. She healed me. When I first got in that relationship with her, I treated her bad because I thought she was just like the rest of the black women that I experienced in my life. But she taught me the definition of happiness, the definition of love, the definition of healing. This young lady needed a fucking award, bro, because that was the only black woman that I ever had met that was all feminine energy. Even if I fussed at her, she'll click the phone off and she'll come back and she knew how to calm me down. And talk to me and to get me in a sensible way. She healed me mentally, physically, and emotionally. This woman, straight up, was an angel sent straight from God in a human's body. And I don't give a fuck what relationship I'm in. I'm gonna always say she was the best thing that ever happened to me in my life. Without that good experience right there, I wouldn't have never looked at black women the same way. Because what she did to for me, I can't even put a price tag on that shit. Because she loved me unconditionally, man. She loved me purely. And she was always in feminine energy. I never had to ask her to cook me nothing. I never had to go through something and she wouldn't be right there trying to hold me down. She had my back all the fucking time. All the time, bro. 
The only woman I knew that had my back like that was my mother. But this young lady, she held me down forever, dog. Forever. And all I can say is, at that time, when I when I was coming out of that bad relationship, I got with her, and like I said, we was together for like three to four years, something like that. Should have been, should, definitely should have been one of my, should have been my wife, for sure. Because one thing about her, she loved me to death. And she always celebrated me all the time. <laughs> I don't give a damn which situation was what. Leave food for work, she got your lunchbox ready. Need something to drink, she makes sure you drink. She give you plenty of what she gonna fucking give you. She had my man. I don't even know how to say good things about her in, in a paragraph form on this motherfucker. That's how great of a woman she was, man. And when I say this woman was always in feminine energy, never fussing at me, never downing me, never did none of that shit. I'm talking about even when I'm yelling and screaming at her, she knew how to calm me down, de-escalate my anger. She knew how to do it all, bro. She had a mother and a father. Yes, she did. But she had a big ass family too. That we had a lot of married motherfuckers in that shit. She was she learned from these motherfuckers. And I never seen she was a hybrid, nigga. I never seen a woman like her before. You know what I'm saying? I just never did. I never even experienced a woman that loved me like that before. Other than my mother. This girl purely fucking loved me, G. I never experienced no shit like that at that time period. It was the best shit I ever had in my life. The best shit I ever experienced in my life. If you were to give this young lady any stars, 10. 10 stars. Because she stayed in feminine energy. I've never seen her fuss, argue, none of that shit. She was the type of woman that would come in a room full of niggas shooting and all the guns go down. That's what type of woman she was. That's the type of black woman she was. Like every gun that was in there, but niggas got a like hundred guns. All them shits go down. Everybody tuck their guns back in when she walk in the room. Because her spirit was so pure. And she was a God-fearing woman. She God-fearing woman, dog. Love kids. Was a wonderful woman, bro. I don't think God... I, I just... I'm not, not going to go that far. I'm going to just say, it ain't too many creations like her. Best experience I ever had. She was definitely a black woman. And she was in her feminine energy all the time, which got her, her power levels are super high. That means that even in my brokenest moments, it broke the space, she healed me. And one thing about her personality, bro, like, she always had that glow, that joy. Like, she just always had that energy. Never met no woman like that. Neither. Never switched up. Not that honeymoon stage and then it go bad. Never was none of that shit. She just stayed consistent with me. Capricorn, bro. A fucking Capricorn, bro. I swear to God. I know everybody be talking bad on the Capricorn, but goddamn, the Capricorn I had, my nigga, was the best shit of my life, my nigga. Yo, that Capricorn shit was the real fucking deal, G. I'm not gonna lie to you at all, but that Capricorn shit changed my motherfucking life, nigga. I ain't gonna lie to a nigga, bro. Capricorn, the sex was... Nigga, outstanding, nigga. I was on a spaceship, nigga. The sex was so good. The body was right. Everything was just perfect. I can't name a thing that was bad about her. Only thing that was bad that we didn't get married. <laughs> that was it. That was it. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, I want nothing. She was always in feminine energy. And she, I'm the, look, you got to think, this girl's small as shit. I'm a big ass grizzly bear. She knew how to calm the grizzly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Incredible Hulk, nigga. She knew how to make the Incredible Hulk get small, put the glasses on type shit. She was that type of black woman, dog. I ain't never mind, bro. That, that. I just thank God for putting her in my life because I needed her at that moment. I really did, man. Without her, though, man. What she contributed to me, it showed me that type of love, bro. Like, I had never experienced that type of love ever. <laughs> I'm being honest, not that type of love, bro. Where a motherfucker be barefoot and walk fucking 20 miles and shit to geek like Nah, bro. I ain't never experienced that shit before. And then they're always being feminine energy. And always this is just the thing about her, bro. Like, <clears throat> she 
She was the type of woman, if I came to her house, I never had to worry about shit. <laughs> like nothing. She going to cook. She going to feed you. She going to give you much drink. She going to make you feel much relaxed. She going to get you. She put me in a safe ass space. Like all the time. Nigga. <laughs> like all the fucking time. I had never felt that type of healing in my life, man. That type of healing that I had got from that young lady, bro, I can't even describe the glory of G. I promise you I can't describe the glory of G. She was spectacular to me, man. And God, man, God put that angel in my life, G. And I appreciate it. Because I needed her, man. She was the best thing I ever had in my life, bro. She was like the best thing I ever acquired, bro. Uh, Capricorn, G. I'm going to say it again, nigga. Capricorn, bro. That Capricorn woman changed my motherfucking life. G. I'm talking too much, but goddamn, bro. She was special. She was special. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that. She was special in many ways. See, she was a type of woman. Let's say we had an argument. She ain't going to take it out. She ain't going to argue back. But when you get in that bedroom, she going to put something tough on your ass, nigga. She gonna put some tough on your ass. Real tough. <laughs> That's how she gets you. You know what I mean? She put that, she put that pussy on you, nigga. For real. She put everything on you, nigga. For real. Capricorn, nigga. Capricorn. I ain't gonna lie, bro. As far as love, sex, and all, all categories, the Capricorn, man. Now I love me some Leos, but that Capricorn shit is different, nigga. That shit is different different g I, I don't know what the fuck nigga maybe everybody had the wrong capricorn but nigga the one i had that shit was different nigga that was a different type of love nigga that was that black love shit for real nigga that was that black love shit for real g that capricorn shit truth nigga i'm not oh. a will to win a healthy life all natural products come join the new movement guys we got products in different categories such as sports, weight loss, beauty, and also household products that's all made all natural. Click the link in the description. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that like button. And when you hit that notification bell, it will always let you know every time that I upload new content.